American Academy of Pediatrics, Wikipedia article audio. The American Academy of Pediatrics is an American professional association of pediatricians, headquartered in Itasca, Illinois. It maintains its Department of Federal Affairs office in Washington, D.C. The Academy was founded in 1930 by 35 pediatricians to address pediatric health care standards. It has 64,000 members in primary care and subspecialist areas. Qualified pediatricians can become fellows. Background Publications The Academy runs continuing medical education programs for pediatricians and subspecialists. The Academy is divided into 14 departments and 26 divisions that assist with carrying out its mission. It has the largest pediatric publishing program in the world, with more than 300 titles for consumers and over 500 titles for physicians and other healthcare professionals. These publications include electronic products, professional references slash textbooks, practice management publications, patient education materials and parenting books. The AAP News is the Academy's official news magazine, and Pediatrics is its flagship journal. The Academy has published hundreds of policy statements ranging from advocacy issues to practice recommendations. The Academy's policy website contains all current Academy policies and clinical reports. In 2009, the National Office and four of its state chapters provided training support to 49 pediatric practices to improve adherence to well-established asthma care guidelines. The percentage of patients at participating practices with well-controlled asthma rose from 58 to 72 percent. Policy Positions In a 2012 position statement, the Academy stated that a systematic evaluation of the medical literature shows that the preventive health benefits of elective circumcision of male newborns outweigh the risks of the procedure and that the health benefits are sufficient to justify access to this procedure for families choosing it and to warrant third-party payment for circumcision of male newborns, but are not great enough to recommend routine circumcision for all male newborns. The Academy takes the position that parents should make the final decision about circumcision, after appropriate information is gathered about the risks and benefits of the procedure. The 2012 statement is a shift in the Academy's position from its 1999 statement in that the Academy says the health benefits of the procedure outweigh the risks, and supports having the procedure covered by insurance. After the release of the position statement, a debate appeared in the journal Pediatrics and the Journal of Medical Ethics. A group of 38 Northern European doctors, ethicists, and lawyers CO authored a comment stating that they found the AAP's technical report and policy statement suffered from cultural bias, and reached recommendations and conclusions different from those of physicians in other parts of the world. An opinion by two authors stated that, in their view, the AAP's analysis was inaccurate, improper, and incomplete. The AAP received further criticism from activist groups that oppose circumcision. The AAP responded to these criticisms in the Journal of Medical Ethics, calling for respectful and evidence-based debate. Asthma in April 2010, the Academy revised its policy statement on female genital cutting, with one part of the new policy proving controversial. Although condemning female genital cutting overall, this statement suggested that current federal law banning the practice had the unintended consequence of driving families to perform the procedures in other countries, where these girls faced increased risk. As a possible compromise, 
this policy statement suggested that physicians have the option to perform a ceremonial nick on girls as a last resort to prevent them from being sent overseas for full circumcision. This particular position proved controversial to advocates for a full ban on female genital cutting under any circumstances and concern from other medical groups that even a Nick would be condoning this widely rejected procedure. One month later, the Academy retracted this policy statement. The American Academy of Pediatrics says that although U.S. firearms related deaths have dropped since the 1990s, Guns were responsible for over 80% of teen homicides in 2009 and were the most common suicide method among teens. The AAP believes pediatricians should discuss guns and gun safety with parents before babies are born and at children's annual exams. It also advocates for, among other things, more background checks, an assault weapons ban, and federal research on gun violence. Recognizing that insufficient sleep in adolescence is an important public health issue that significantly affects the health and safety, as well as academic success, the American Academy of Pediatrics strongly supports efforts of school districts to optimize sleep in students and urges high schools and middle schools to aim for start times no earlier than 8.30 a.m. to allow students the opportunity to achieve optimal levels of sleep and to improve physical and mental health, safety, academic performance, and quality of life. Although the AAP acknowledges that numerous factors may impair the amount and slash or quality of sleep in adolescence, among them, biological changes in sleep associated with puberty, lifestyle choices, and academic demands, it considers school start times before 8.30 a.m. to be a key modifiable contributor to insufficient sleep, together with circadian rhythm disruption. It also recognizes that a substantial body of research has demonstrated that delaying the start of the school day is an effective countermeasure to chronic sleep loss and has a wide range of potential benefits to the physical and mental health, safety, and academic achievement of students, including reduced obesity risk, rates of depression, and drowsy driving crashes as well as improved academic performance and quality of life. Elective Infant Circumcision The American Academy of Pediatrics AGCM posted guidelines in dealing with the ethical issues in pediatric genetic testing. Female Genital Cutting Gun Violence Prevention School Start Times for Adolescents Ethical Guidelines to Pediatric Genetic Testing